Well, this is one of the hottest battles inside the Democratic Party. Mark Alexander challenging State Senator Nia Gill. And tonight, we're hearing the party leaders in Essex County are going to give their ballot line to Senator Gill. And she joins us now. And we ask you if you have heard that as well. Um, we have been talking, and so um, I look forward to being able to tell you more definitive uh, information very soon. You look happy, though, so I assume it's not bad news. It's, uh, this is, this is, was a question of, of who was going to get this, and it was not all that certain for a while. Well, very few things in life are certain, so this just happened to be one of the many. How seriously do you view, you view the challenge that Mark Alexander presents to you? Well, you know, um, actually I've been focused on being the uh, legislator, the senator for the 34th district. I've been vo focused on early voting, which just passed out of the uh, assembly, so it will be on the governor's desk tomorrow. I have been focused on um, the issue of uh, human trafficking. That has, my bill passed out and will be on the governor's desk tomorrow. And I have been um, focused on the implementation uh, of the health exchange in the broader sense, as well as the Medicaid expansion. So I've been focused on doing those things that have a real impact on the lives of the constituents in the 34th district. I wanted to ask you about both of the bills that are now heading to the governor. Do you expect him to sign both of them? Um, I think it would be excellent public policy uh, decision to sign both because they have a very uh, positive and needed impact on the lives of the citizens of the state of New Jersey. Uh, well, early, the early voting early one, early. Uh, uh, specifically, that one, I mean, it's, there's been a lot of fighting about this around the country. And in some states, the Republicans actually worked to try to cut back some of the early voting, feeling that the Democrats were using it to what they would consider to be an unfair advantage. Do you think that the Republicans in this state would worry about this as well, that the governor would stand in the way of this as well for those reasons? What I do know is this, providing more access to vo voting and doing it by early voting is really to engage the citizens in the government and in their uh, lives that make, for people who make decisions in their lives. How much do you think it'll change the turnout factor? I mean, will we, will we see the, the turnout double? Well, I think the turnout factor, uh, based upon other states, will increase. Uh, and I also think it is important to uh, provide that additional access uh, for voting. Human trafficking. Uh, there has been uh, a lot of talk about this issue, which nobody seemed to be talking about until the last couple of years. The Attorney General also has said that this is one of his top priorities mm -hmm. as well. How bad a problem is that in this state? Well, actually, in 2005, it was my legislation that made human trafficking a crime, and it was one of the toughest in the nation. In 2011, um, my uh, bill passed and was signed by Governor Christie that says if you are 18 and under and you are uh, charged with prostitution, there's a presumption of human trafficking and you will receive um, uh, services and other kinds of things. This latest bill with Senator Poe and Vitale uh, and myself builds on the legislative um, accomplishments that I've had before since 205 with human trafficking and provides for prevention and uh, for prosecution. So that uh, although it may not have been in the headlines uh, since 205, it has been there and I have been working on it and it was the first law in New Jersey for oh, human trafficking. Only about 15 seconds. Yes. You gonna run for Lieutenant Governor? Your name has been bandied about as a possible running mate for Senator Buono. Uh, and you have 10 seconds. Uh, I, I, I'll give you, is it Sherman? Or uh, if nominated? I will not accept. <laughs> <laughs> if, Senator Gill, I think that was a pretty declarative no, but we appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Thank Ed. you very much.